Clones are surprisingly common in Equestria, and they leave me asking strange questions like, are these identical quadruplets? Is this a changeling invasion? And worst of all, what is up with the Royal Guard? When it comes to the Royal Guard, I think we can rule out the possibility that hundreds of gray and white colts with the same builds were all just naturally born like that. There has to be something unnatural going on here, but what? Now this is a question I've asked before, and I floated the idea that guards take all sorts of forms but are under a spell that makes them look more unified. However, recently we've seen the Royal Guard open up to new variety, and it doesn't make sense that this spell would be applied to some, but not all. This leaves us questioning once again, why do so many of the guards look exactly the same? They're definitely not changelings, but what else could it be? If only there was something in Equestria that could explain the existence of multiple doppelgangers. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay, I'm messing with you. The mirror pool, where one pony becomes two, becomes four, so on and so forth. Today, I'm bringing you a new theory, that here lies the origin of the Royal Guard. What if they all started out as just two ponies? A gray unicorn with brown eyes and a white pegasus with blue eyes. These two could serve as the template for a clone army, kind of like Django Fett. At some point in the past, perhaps they went to the pool and pulled out their reflections until they had enough to guard Equestria. That that would explain why there's so many of them. Now, if this is true, I'm guessing Celestia was in charge of the operation, and if so, she made a smart move. Instead of having to draft hundreds of ponies across Equestria, using the mirror pool means she only had to find a couple willing donors. No need to train hundreds of ponies to be physically fit. Only the original hosts have to be, since the pool replicates their physical forms perfectly. It's unclear which mental aspects would make it into the copies. Pinky's clones, for example, didn't even know the rest of the main six, but her attitude clearly carried over, so if the original guards were willing to serve Equestria, their clones would likely have been as well. This is quite the efficient way to protect a young and growing kingdom. And yes, I think Equestria was quite young whenever this happened. As we've seen, these guards go way back, and I'm willing to bet all the way back to the beginning of Equestria. Makes sense in the timeline, since the mirror pool is located in the Everfree Forest, which is exactly where Celestia was ruling at the time. Now, this does come with a strange side effect. For the clones to have been around so long ago and still look the same today, there would have to be some sort of time magic involved here, most likely an age spell. While complicating things, this isn't too hard to believe. It'd be pretty forward-looking of Celestia to grant longevity to the volunteers, so she wouldn't have to repeat the process of finding new donors to clone every couple decades. And even if Celestia didn't know how to do age spells, I'm sure Star Swirl could have helped. It's certainly strange to think these guys may have been around for a thousand years, but that's no less strange than the other possibilities. However, things do get more complicated. If you have a keen eye, you'll notice some of the guards don't seem to fit the mold. While most gray ponies are unicorns and white ponies are pegasi, there is the occasional exception. A gray pegasus here, a white unicorn there, this definitely makes things messy. But we have reason to believe our eyes can't be trusted here. Because among those variations were alicorn guards, and that can't be right. There must be some sort of trickery here. The Disguise Spell. Now, I know what I said earlier, but when you add the clones to the equation, it makes a lot more sense. Say the Royal Guard was initially made up entirely of clones, but then a non-clone wanted to join. What would they do? Instead of sticking out like a sore thumb, they could be made to look like one of the clones, albeit with slight variations. This would explain what we saw. They weren't real alicorns, it was just a quirk of the visual spell. But that's not the only thing it explains. If these non-clones kept joining the guard, eventually there'd be enough so that they wouldn't stick out anymore. No longer would they need to blend in. That's what I think might have happened when we started seeing more variety. Those ponies were always there, but only recently dropped the clone disguise. Though it's quite the complicated solution, I think it works well to connect the duplicated guard with the duplication pool. In a broader sense, I highly doubt Pinky was the only pony to ever use the pool. Her Nana Pinky must have gotten those rhymes from somewhere. Plus, the mirror pool isn't exactly hard to access. Even after the entrance was sealed, that didn't stop Starlight. But even barring all that, there's an entire back entrance that wasn't even blocked. That's how I got here. It's how Sunburst met Maud after Starlight took him to the pool. This thing was almost certainly you Used before, and perhaps that explains some of the stranger phenomena we've seen in Equestria. There are a lot of reasons one might want to use something like this.
But what do you think? Has the mirror pool been used besides with Pinky? By who? The Royal Guard? If so, then how? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. If you want to support this channel financially, check out my reward tiers at patreon.com slash sawtoothwaves. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier patrons. The Nameless One, Hexstream, Maximilian HG, Cameo Shadowness, Cyanax and Fairfallen, Petrol Head 2 Gilded Page, Dr. Hooves, and the winner of this week's Alicorn Raffle, Equinox 3141. Congrats, and thanks again for everyone's support. Y'all help make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Wave, signing out until Friday after next. Bro Hoof! Good. Twice the Sawtooth, double the horse theories. This will be excellent for the algorithm. The algo what now? Uh, you know, YouTube? You who? Okay, back in the pool. <laughs>